Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Now, do you remember last year when I collected my yellow, uh, my yellow pole bean seeds and my green string bean seeds? Well, when I planted them this year, I got a hybrid. <music> This is what my yellow beans look like. As a matter of fact, they usually go a whole lot bigger. This is actually fairly small. They usually, these, these can run up to uh, 11 in, 10 or 11 inches. These are my yellow pole beans. They're a flat bean that I just absolutely love. And I got these sent to me from a friend in Poland uh, several years back. Well, last year I saved the seeds from these and from seed, mixed seeds from my uh, green beans, my bush beans. These are a pole bean, these are a bush bean. But look, because I saved my seeds last year and they cross-pollinated, I now have a green pole bean. It's thicker than the yellow bean, but just as long and it's green. Wild, eh? Okay, folks, here are marigold heads. This is just a little thing that um, herbs came in from the grocery store we we're getting for my green cleanse. Now look, folks, I wanna show you this. All right, and these are still growing out there. Don't pick them unless they come off in your head. This is a, marig a, a French marigold seed head. This was the flower and when the flower is done, these fall off and then they go boom into your garden. These are marigold seeds right here. So I'll give you a better example. Look, here's a better example. Look, see how black they are at the bottom? That's the seed, guys. So I harvested these for next year. Don't pick them if the flower heads are still on them and you can't just pinch them off. I say they didn't protect my cabbage, but honestly, folks, they did. Because we've got several large cabbage that were in really beautiful shape. So, I mean, they wouldn't even have gotten that far without the marigolds. You know what I mean? So, I'm just picking these apart. That's a perfect example right there. That's the inside, the bottom or the flank, phalanx, or whatever it is that goes up under the flower is where the seeds are. See, the flower just kind of dies off and then you just pull these seeds out. All right, that is plenty of marigold seeds for next year. And this, well, I'm just gonna throw this out. I'm gonna throw it out back off the deck because you just never know what'll come up from there next year. Ooh, and I gotta go collect my marshmallow seeds. So, here is our marshmallow plant flower pods when they dry out. And you gotta catch them at the right time because they open up and the seeds just kinda dump out, right? So, these, are, are, are. Now these are in the hollyhock family. So they're very similar. They're like little tiny hollyhocks, but they're so beautiful. And they're also a medicinal plant. So I'm just going to, I've left some on that plant because it's come back two years in a row, wild. These were wild, folks. So I, uh, I left some seed pods on there to let some of the seeds, to let them come back next year. But I'm going to start. A, I'm going to start planting them around the property. Now I was going to put these in a little plastic envelope, but they're not completely dry, dry. So I'm going to put them in a paper envelope, and like I did with the marigolds, pods and stuff. I'm just going to throw this out over the deck in the direction of where I uh, pick these. I'm going to throw these in over the deck. I'm going to get some envelopes here. Okay. Here 
are my marshmallow seeds. Here's another frugal living tip. Save all your old envelopes from bills. Cut them in half and use them as seed envelopes. Okay. Gonna put a little bit around the end here so nothing comes out. Marsh Mallow. Okay. This is a lot of seeds, but that's okay because they'll fit in here. French Marigold. This is the Mrs. Volfi from our half acre homestead saying seed saving may give you hybrids sometimes when, it, when you plant different beans with different beans, but that's okay. You're still going to get beans. But don't forget your herbs and flowers too. Hopefully next year I won't have to buy the marigolds for my garden. I can grow them. Making that quarter another nickel. Mwah! Take care, God bless. Yeah.